Whether you're going out into the mountains where there's bears and lions or you're just riding your local state trails, you don't want to get lost from your dirt bike trail riding group, especially if this is your first ride. I want you to have a good experience so that you keep on riding, whether it's with your family or your friends. I've been trail riding for over 20 years, so I want to share my experiences as well as my mistakes so that you can have a more enjoyable and worry-free trail riding experience so that you enjoy it with your family or friends for many years to come because you have properly prepared yourself for it. So step number one is plan where you're going. Now whether it's you or your group leader, you should know where you're starting and where you're ending. Whether you're out in the desert, the mountains, or you're just local state trails, there's a lot of ways to get lost, whether it's on a different trail or off the trail. So having everyone look at the map and have their own map, whether it's on your phone, there's some really good apps that have really updated trails that are really easy to follow or just a paper map. So knowing where you're starting and where you're ending so that if you do get lost, you can go to the end point or you can go back to your starting point. Step number two is if you're riding with at least three people, it's a good idea to have a mature rider in the front as well as in the back because the front guy they have to know where they're going to make the right turn to lead you to where you're going and to how to get back and then the mature rider in back doesn't have to be the fastest rider but they have to be someone that's experienced wise mature someone that's least likely to crash because if you're the last guy and you fall over and you get stuck you could get seriously hurt or worse so that's why you want to have a mature rider in back that way if someone in the middle does crash they get hurt uh, the guy in back will be able to see them when they come up to them and then help them or go and get help so they're not stuck out there for hours or longer step number three is a very easy one but some guys or girls just don't want to do this and that is stopping at every intersection. If you're riding one big trail loop, then you might not have intersections, but anytime you're going to state trails, you're bound to come up to them. So what is an intersection? Well, when you're riding a trail and you come to a spot where it looks like there is more than one way to go or there could be more than one way to go, you need to stop and wait until the person behind you gets to where you are so that when you do start going in one direction or the other, the person behind you knows where you're going because even if it looks pretty obvious that, oh, the trail keeps going to the left, but the person behind you sees, oh, they might have gone to the right, they're going to get lost. And if they're the last person in the group, this is when things go bad very quickly and get lost, especially if it's later in the day, it starts getting dark, it's harder to see things. So if you come to an intersection, make sure everyone in the group stops. So the first guy stops when he gets to the intersection, and then once the next guy comes, the first guy can go, and then the next guy waits until the next guy comes. And then once the third guy comes, the second guy can keep going, so on, so forth. It's very simple, very easy to do. It may feel like you're wasting time because you're not riding as much, but even experienced riders can get lost very easily, especially when it gets later in the day or if you're riding new trails. Step number four to not getting lost is something that you have to spend money on, but it can really save you if you can afford it. And that is having a GPS or GPS tracker on your bike. Something like the Trail Tech Voyager Pro. Uh, I'll link to it in the description below. But basically, it has the buddy tracking system so that you can look at it's a speedo, but it's a dashboard where it shows uh, the GPS of you as well as anyone else in your group that has the Trail Tech Voyager Pro. So that if you do get lost, you can see, oh, they're still moving or they stopped or they went this way. You can follow them and you don't even need to communicate. Step number five is having a plan if you do get lost. And this should actually be done before you even leave. So let's say you come to an intersection where the person ahead of you didn't stop. Maybe they didn't even see that there was a fork in the road and they just kept going. And you're like, oh, I don't know which way they went. Well, sometimes you can see uh, the dirt bike tracks of people riding and you might be able to follow them the right way. But if it's hard to tell, you're like, I don't know where to go. This is why it's good to have a map so that you can have a point of where to meet 
or just go back to where you started so that you don't get lost and so that the rest of your group can easily find you. Now there are many ways to help prevent getting lost so these are just some basic ones that I came up with so if you have some more please share them in the comments below so that you can help other beginners have fun trail riding without getting lost. And if you are a beginner trail rider that doesn't want to crash and get hurt because I hate getting hurt, uh, you should check this video out right here. I'm Kelly Fager from Motocross Hideout. Learn more, ride more.